I think it's so exciting to see someone else breathe new life into something. T. Thomason has been making their mark on the music industry for more than a decade. They recently released a self-titled album, but now they're reimagining those songs with guest collaborators, including Rhea May. I'm a I already had done it the way that I wanted it done, and there was that original version already out there. So I just felt like this is just a whole new thing, and it's and it's just exciting to see someone else do some do their thing with it. Thomason has been providing a soundtrack for their fans' lives for their whole career. They're also a role model and an active leader in the transgender community. They recently wrote an open letter addressing the community and their fans, particularly isolated during what would otherwise be a month of pride and celebration. I just wanted to post a message of encouragement and positivity and just something for people to find among all the crap that's going through our timelines right now. Some of that negativity came from tweets and an essay from Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, who questioned trans persons' identities when it comes to gender, causing widespread backlash. And it's really dangerous because it's that kind of, to hear that rhetoric come from somebody that, you know, so many young people look up to and then to have that person take this really intense stance and not, you know, not be willing to listen. Um, I think it's really hard because it's those messages that folks internalize and lead to a lot of like, self-doubt and 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 feeling othered and feeling left out and feeling like you're never gonna fit in t has been trying to push for inclusivity in the industry they work in they say the music industry is trying but there is lots of room for improvement i do think that uh the music industry like so many big organizations get on board like headstrong you know during pride month and then for the rest of the year, you kind of wonder what is happening. We want more than like tokenism, you know? We want more than having that one uh, gay person on the panel, that one trans person who gets like some recognition. I think, you know, in particular, when it comes to writers and producers, this is a big thing that I've been pushing is like going into writing rooms. Um, I'm never in writing rooms with other trans writers or producers. There's a lot of great um, like uh, workshops and programs that happen for young artists and for women in the studio and as producers and writers and I'd love to see some programming that was specific to trans people. T will be releasing more collaborations based on their self-titled album over the next few months. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.